This one is all, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what about answer this? वाला आपने दिया था कि हमको करना है और बोला था कि आंसर में लास्ट नेक्स्ट लेक्चर में बताऊंगी. Okay, this one log you yes, are talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, fine. Have you tried? Yes, ma'am. थोड़ा बहुत ऐसा. Okay, नहीं किया है. So just किया है but exact. Yeah, I'm explaining now. Here. as you can see the given function you cannot directly apply the nth derivative format because x is multiplied with the log function so there is no separate x function is there or no separate log function is there so obviously you have to simplify this in such manner so that you can have the term where you can directly apply the nth derivative so obviously you cannot apply it directly so what we are going to do first we will apply log rule over here so i am writing the same quantity as x log x minus 1 minus x log x plus 1 this is using the log property and then i am taking first derivative of both the term so both the term you have to apply the product rule because you are differentiating with respect to x and both are function of x so applying or taking first derivative for both the term and applying product rule and simplifying you are getting this term so see the step if any doubt i can explain this is clear yes ma'am okay now now if you can see the y1 you are getting that is the first derivative you are getting you are taking uh, uh you are getting four plus term one. yes 1 upon x plus 1 ke aage minus aayega na nahi idhar plus 1 minus 1 ho jayenge na yes ma'am first step right okay now If, uh, now if you see यहाँ पे चार टर्म है एंड ऑल फोर टर्म आर सच दैट दैट आफ्टर दिस स्टेप इफ यू टेक एंथ डेरिवेटिव हर एक टर्म की एंथ डेरिवेटिव पॉसिबल है करेक्ट देर आर फोर टर्म्स यू आर गेटिंग आफ्टर फाइंडिंग फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव और लॉक का एंथ डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है सो ये दोनों लॉक टर्म का एंथ डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है सेम वे This is similar to one upon ax plus b form. So you can apply n derivative rule from this step on. Now, यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है? अगर आप यहाँ पे nth derivative करोगे, यानी इस term का nth derivative अगर apply करना है, मतलब you have to take the n minus oneth derivative of this term, क्योंकि एक derivative आप already ले चुके हो. तो ही आपको original function का nth derivative मिलेगा. So this line is clear. Yes, ma'am. Oh, ma'am, so that means so wherever in the standard formula n is there, we will be using n minus one. Right? N minus one, correct, right? So j, ये जो भी formula है log की nth derivative की formula. Since we are taking at this stage n minus one derivative, we are replacing in that formula n by n minus one. So this is your log formula. Right here, you will replace n by n minus one, so it will be minus one raised to n minus two, n minus two factorial a raised to n minus one, a x plus b raised to n minus one will be your formula for log. And same way, a x plus b raised to m का जो nth derivative का form है, there we will write down or that we will replace n by n minus one. So I hope this line is clear to all. Yes, ma'am. Have you written steps? Ma'am, यहाँ पे one upon x plus one के आगे minus आएगा क्योंकि वो minus x log x plus one का derivative में minus minus आएगा ना? कहाँ पे? Ma'am, third step में. हाँ. Last. यहाँ पे मैंने minus one plus one add किया ना बेटा इसको one करने के लिए. नहीं ma'am, minus one के आगे minus one minus one upon x plus one. 
यहां पे आप प्लस वन माइनस वन करोगे ना तो माइनस माइनस प्लस हो जाएगा ना सॉरी और यहाँ पे आप प्लस वन माइनस वन करोगे तो माइनस वन वाला टर्म वन आएगा और दूसरा आप प्लस वन एड कर रहे हो सो इट विल बी वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन क्लियर यस मैम ओके दिस स्लाइड इज क्लियर टू ऑल एनी डाउट so now at this stage we will take nth derivative and since we are taking at this stage so actually we are taking n minus 1 derivative of this term so nth derivative ki log function ki jo formula hai n derivative ki 1 upon ax plus b raised to n ki jo formula hai both the formula mein we will replace n by n minus 1 so i hope this step is clear you can skip this one for understanding i have written so after this step you can directly write down this one is it clear yes ma'am write down steps ओके नाउ ऑब्वियसली यू आर गिवन अ प्रूव दैट फॉर्म तो आपको फाइनल आंसर को ये फॉर्म में लाना है एंड फॉर दैट यू नीड टू टेक आउट दिस टर्म एज कॉमन सो दैट वी विल डू फ्रॉम ईच टर्म यू कैन टेक आउट दिस पावर ऑफ माइनस वन दिस टू एन माइनस टू एंड एन माइनस टू फैक्टोरियल यू विल टेक आउट कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस टर्म दिस टर्म This you can always write n minus one into n minus two factorial, right? So take out this term common and simplifying, you will get this. Method clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. okay so we have seen two examples one is when the function is given in this form so you have to put it first by using partial fraction or any other alternative method into the form where you can apply the n derivative of that function so you can easily put it in 1 upon ax plus b raised to m form and then you are applying n derivative this is the log function form so you cannot directly apply so you will simplify taking first derivative and get it the form from which you can apply n derivative form and so that what we are doing agar apne derivative lene ke baad kiya hai so accordingly you will apply the n derivative formula now this is the third example and we have already seen in standard functions what we have seen We have seen n derivative of sine to the power one a x plus b form cos to the power one a x plus b form, but here the question is sine to the power two cos to the power three, right? So obviously, and also they are written in the product; they are not the separate function written. So obviously, you have to put it. In the form where you are getting sine and cos with power one. In an a x plus b form, correct? You want to try? Yes, ma'am. Try it. Right. आप पहले इसको simplify करोगे using trigonometric rule. Simplify करके ऐसे form में लाओ. कि हर एक टर्म आपकी ऐसी आए जहां पे साइन और कॉस का पावर वन हो एंड यू कैन डायरेक्टली अप्लाई दी एंड डेरिवेटिव फॉर्मूला दे ओके सो यू ट्राई मीन वाइल आई कंप्लीट दैट हैव यू रिटर्न क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन लिखा सब यस यस मैम मैम लोग ट्राई करो मैं तब तक अटेंडेंस भी ले लेती हूँ सो वी कैन डिस्कस आफ्टर
okay uh, rule number 1 Rule number two. Present. Why two two students are answering? Rule number one present. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Rule number two. Yes, ma'am. Three. Present, ma'am. Four. Present, ma'am. Five. Present, ma'am. Six. Present, ma'am. Seven. Present, ma'am. Eight. Present, ma'am. Nine. Present, ma'am. Ten. Present, ma'am. Eleven. Present, ma'am. Twelve. Present, ma'am. Thirteen. Present, ma'am. Fourteen. Present, ma'am. Fifteen. Present, ma'am. Sixteen. Present, ma'am. Seventeen. Present, ma'am. Eighteen. Present, ma'am. Nineteen. Present, ma'am. Twenty. Present, ma'am. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Present, ma'am. Twenty-three. Present, ma'am. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Present, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, twenty-four. Present. Which number? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Ah, yes. Okay. Twenty-five. Present, ma'am. Twenty-six. Present, ma'am. Twenty-seven. Present, ma'am. Twenty-eight. Present, ma'am. Twenty-nine. Present, ma'am. Thirty. Present, ma'am. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Present, ma'am. Thirty-three. Present, ma'am. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Present, ma'am. Thirty-six. Present, ma'am. Thirty-seven. Present, ma'am. Thirty-eight. Present, ma'am. Thirty-nine. Forty. Present, ma'am. Forty-one. Present, ma'am. Forty-two. Present, ma'am. Forty-three. Present, ma'am. Forty-four. Present, ma'am. Forty-five. Present, ma'am. Forty-six. Present, ma'am. Forty-seven. Forty-eight. Forty-nine. Present, ma'am. Fifty. Present, ma'am. Fifty-one. Present, ma'am. Fifty-two. Present, ma'am. Fifty-three. Fifty-four. Present, ma'am. Fifty-five. Present, ma'am. Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. Present, ma'am. Fifty-nine. Present, ma'am. Sixty. Present, ma'am. Sixty-one. Present, ma'am. Sixty-two. Sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five. Absent number. Sixty-four present, ma'am. Sixty-four present. Absent number are twenty-one, twenty-four, thirty-one, thirty-four, thirty-nine, forty-seven. Ma'am, thirty-nine is present. Thirty-nine is present. Ma'am, twenty-four is also present. Twenty-four is also present. Four, th forty-seven, forty-eight, fifty-three, fifty-seven, sixty-two, and sixty-five. Okay, have you solved? Yes, ma'am, but don't know if the answers. Okay, I'll show you the proof. Screen is visible. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now. Yes, ma'am. Same. Since you cannot apply directly, so you are, I have splitted cos cube as cos square x into cos x, and here I have 
reduce this sin x cos x whole square form into 2 sin x cos x form so it will be reduced into sin 2 theta form right still power is there cos ka 1 power hai but power, sin ka power abhi bhi 2 hai and still it is in the product form so isko reduce karne ke liye i have applied 2 sin square theta form so it is 1 minus cos 2 theta and after that when i multiply cos first time i am getting separate as a only function of cos but the second term i again getting cos into cos form so again i have to apply the trigonometric rule so multiplying dividing by 2 and applying 2 cos cos that is cos plus cos form right so this is clear yes ma'am everyone yes ma'am सबका समझ में आया ये स्टेप सबको समझ में आ रहा है यस ओके नाउ इफ यू सी दिस टर्म यू कैन अप्लाई एंड डेरिवेटिव दिस टर्म यू कैन अप्लाई एंड डेरिवेटिव एंड दिस टर्म आल्सो यू कैन अप्लाई एंड डेरिवेटिव दिस सो टेकिंग एंड डेरिवेटिव एट दिस स्टेप एंड सिंपलीफाइंग दिस विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर ओके हियर टू रेस टू एंड विल बी देयर चलो सेकेंड एंड थर्ड इज योर होमवर्क ट्राई फर्स्ट वन एंड दिस वन In second and third, you can write as the homework example. Ma'am, which one we have to try? Sorry. Which one we have to try now? First one, first. Okay.
Anyone has solved first? Ma'am, it's uh, I've reduced it to the simpler form. I'm just applying the derivative. Yeah. That I can tell you the answer. So you are getting y is 1 by 4 cos 5x plus cos 3x minus cos 9x minus cos x. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so when you apply the derivative form, your final answer will be 1 by 4 times 5 raised to n cos 5x n plus n pi by 2 plus 3 raised to n cos 3x plus n pi by 2. Minus 9 raised to n cos 9x plus n pi by 2 minus cos of x plus n pi by 2. Right? Now, for this sum, you have to little do little bit thinking and then try to resolve. Nahi hota hai, I'll explain. Now, example, wale jo abhi aapne bata hai na, uska answer cross check karo Yeah, one by four. Abhi jo diya hai, first one na? Nahi ma'am, wo y eight pi nikala na jiska. Iska? Ah. This you are getting? Ma'am, usme minus one raised to n ka saare wo nahi aara. Ah, wo hi main batati hu. Uske baad to jo form aayega, usme sirf n equal to eight likhna hai x equal to pi r equal to 1 by 4 लिखना है तो अगर ये अगर आता है वो मैं बताती हूँ try तो करने दो बाकी को meanwhile I'll join my mobile to explain Okay, those who didn't get it, just pay attention on whiteboard. Okay, now, what is your given? Just a minute. Okay. Now, what is your given data is y equal to sine of rx plus cos of rx, right? So, both sine and cos are with the power 1. So, you can directly apply n derivative of this function, right? So, taking nth derivative on both the sides. So yn is equal to, this will be r raised to n sine of rx plus n pi by 2 plus r raised to n cos of rx plus n pi by 2 by your n derivative formula. Correct? Yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. Okay. So I can take out r raised to n common. So in the bracket, Sine of Rx plus n pi by 2 plus cos of Rx plus n pi by 2. Now, your answer or your hint is already given in your question. Now, if you see the question, you have to prove the result equal to R raised to n into some quantity raised to half. Okay? And if you see your answer, 
after taking n derivative what you are getting r is to into some quantity but power of that bracket value is 1 तो मुझे अगर इस ब्रैकेट वैल्यू को रेस टू हाफ के फॉर्म में लिखना है मैं कैसे लिखूंगी रेस टू टू इंटू हाफ राइट इसका स्क्वायर का स्क्वायर रूट राइट सो आई कैन राइट द सेम क्वांटिटी ए साइन ऑफ आर एक्स प्लस एन फाइव बाई टू प्लस कॉस ऑफ आर एक्स प्लस एन फाइव बाई टू आई कैन टेक होल स्क्वायर होल रेस टू हाफ दिस कैप इज क्लियर यहाँ तक सबका समझ में आएगा सबका आंसर भी yes, 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 इंपॉर्टेंट इज इट क्लियर टू ऑल यस नाउ सिंप्लीफाई द ब्रैकेट वैल्यू सो आर एस टू एन साइन स्क्वायर आर एक्स प्लस एन फाइव बाई टू प्लस कॉस स्क्वायर आर एक्स प्लस एन फाइव बाई टू प्लस Two sine of r x plus n pi by two, cos of r x plus n pi by two, whole raised to half. Okay, now this quantity is one sine square theta plus cos square theta plus two sine theta cos theta will be sine of two into r x plus n pi by two raised to half. Can I write? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So it is r raised to n one plus sine r x plus n pi. Can I write two r x plus n pi? Can I write? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now pi plus theta. Answer is the function itself. right but when it does not change sin to cos so answer will be in terms of sin only but you don't know n value so there are two possibility either n will be odd or n will be even and n will be odd and even every time will give you only one value either it is plus 1 and minus 1 yes yes ma'am correct if you keep on inserting values of n starting from 1 so when it is 1 it is 2 pi pi plus theta when you write 2 pi so it will be on the right uh, positive x axis if you write the odd one then it will be on the negative x axis right so it will keep on coming on the either positive x axis negative x axis but that pi value that you are getting will be one only Yes. Right. So answer will be ultimately it is plus one or minus one form, and ultimately it will reduce to either you are getting plus sign or it will be minus sign form, and that is happening n times. That is why it will be reduced into one plus minus one raised to n sine of two r x raised to half. This is clear. Why this is minus one to the power n is coming is clear to all? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now you want to find out why a at the rate from at the point pi. So this is the formula of y n. So here you are taking n equal to eight. R is given as one by four. So taking n equal to eight, r equal to one by four, and uh, x equal to Pi, right? So substitute that and simplify, and you will get your final answer. Clear? This is very important example. Clear to all? Yes. Good.
Ma'am, are you saying something? You are on mute. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. So we have seen two, three type of example. आगे के जितने भी एग्जाम्पल हमने देखे हर एक का कॉन्सेप्ट एक ही है यू ऑलरेडी हैव स्टैंडर्ड फंक्शन डेरिवेटिव विथ यू तो इफ यू आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट सम फंक्शन एंड डेरिवेटिव ऑब्वियसली यू आर नॉट गिवन डायरेक्टली एज इन द फॉर्म वेर यू कैन अप्लाई दी एंड डेरिवेटिव फॉर्मूला सो यूजिंग सम मैथमेटिकल कैलक्युलेशन इफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्री आर इन्वॉल्व दैन यू यूजिंग सम ट्रिगोनोमेट्री रिजल्ट you have to reduce your given function in the form where you can apply n derivative formula directly to each term right and that is what we have done to the each of this example so this is the first set kind of example now comes the another type where there are some function where it is given as the product of two function and you cannot reduce it by any mathematical formulation or anything into the form where they can give you the separate term where you can apply n derivative form so on such scenario leibniz theorem we have to apply which is specially to find n derivative of a product of two function right and you don't have the proof of this so you will only have to remember the form okay now what the leibniz theorem says if u and v are two functions of x with u n and v n be their nth derivative then nth derivative of product u v is given by this formula n c 0 u n v plus n c 1 u n minus 1 v 1 matlab pehle to jo do function honge usme se aap identify karoge kaun se function ko u lena hai kaun se function ko v lena hai There are two, three possibilities. ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि आपके दोनों फंक्शन का एंथ डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है तो आप दोनों में से किसी भी फंक्शन को यू एन बी कंसिडर कर सकते हो ऐसा भी हो सकता है दो फंक्शन है प्रोडक्ट में एक फंक्शन है जिसका एन डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है एक फंक्शन है जिसका एन डेरिवेटिव टर्म जीरो हो रहा है लेकिन बाकी के कुछ डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है तो इन सच सीनारियो जिस फंक्शन का एन डेरिवेटिव एक्सिस्ट होता है टेक दैट फंक्शन एज यू एंड टेक द सेकंड फंक्शन एज वी एंड सब्सिट्यूट दैट वैल्यू इन दिस फॉर्मूला राइट एंड सिंस वी हैव यू वी मीन्स प्रोडक्ट आप किसी भी मैनर में मल्टीप्लाई करो टू द दो फंक्शन को वेदर यू आर फाइंडिंग यू वी ऑफ एन डेरिवेटिव और वी यू ऑफ एन डेरिवेटिव फॉर्मूला विल बी सेम वी यू जब आप लिखोगे देन इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस साइड दैट द ओनली चेन so either you can start the formula from left to right or you can start the formula from right to left both will be same there is no change in that right so when you apply this formula or agar dono mein se ek hi ka n derivative exist hai to jis function ka n derivative aapko pata hai ya fir jiska n derivative possible hai you know that that derivative should be taken as your function u So write down the formula write down the statement and the note and there are different type of example for leibniz theorem also so we will see one by one pehla dekhenge jahan pe product function diya hoga aur aisa hoga ki koi ek function ka nth derivative exist hoga dusre ka nth derivative zero hoga लेकिन मे बी सेकेंड या थर्ड डेरिवेटिव तक इट इज अ डिफरेंशियबल फंक्शन सो हाउ यू अप्लाई द लेबनिस दूसरा एक एग्जाम्पल देखेंगे जहां पे दो फंक्शन दिए हैं, दोनों फंक्शन ऐसे हैं जिसके एंथ डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है सो इन दैट केस हाउ टू अप्लाई योर लेबनिस रूल एंड थर्ड विच इज अ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल विच इज बेस्ड ऑन लेबनिस थियरम ओनली और वो एग्जाम में आपको आते ही है for 6 to 8 mark so there is you can expect one example based on leibniz theorem in your internal or external right and that is compulsorily will be there in your exam so one question from leibniz from this chapter will be surely there in your example okay have you written
Fine. Yes. Okay. Write down the equation. Okay, now for first function, there are two function x into sin 3x is there. So, if you use mathematical term, use karke kuch bhi karo. You are, it is difficult to write this function as a separate summation of some function in x and some function in sin cos, right? So, you cannot apply or you cannot simplify the given data by any of the mathematical form. So, obviously, it's a product function. So here you have to apply the end derivative form. Essay equation may aapko mention nahi kiya jayega ki aapko Leibniz apply karna hai. Question dekke aapko identify karna padega ki ye Leibniz se solve hoga ya previous method se solve hoga. Okay. Now for the first function there are two function x and sin 3x. Which functions nth derivative is exist? Sin 3x. Sin 3x. Or x ka kitna derivative exist hai? 2. Two. Right? One is function. Only it is x is only one time differentiable function. Second derivative onwards, answer will be 0. Yes. Agree? Yes, ma'am. Right? So if you take sin 3x as u and cos uh, x function as v. And if you substitute over here, so kya hoga? Leibniz se kya hota hai? Wo aap samjho. There are n terms in this formula, right? Okay. Now, agar apne Leibniz theorem apply kiya, vaise kisi product function pe, jahan pe ek function ka nth derivative exist hai, aur dusre function ka ya to ek ya do hi derivative exist hai. और बाकी के जितने भी डेरिवेटिव पॉसिबल है वो सारे डेरिवेटिव अगर जीरो हो रहे हैं राइट सो इन दैट केस व्हाट विल हैपन ये इतनी सारी जो टर्म है इट विल रिड्यूस इनटू टू और थ्री टर्म एग्री राइट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई टेक साइन 3x एज u एंड v एज सम फंक्शन x व्हिच इज इन द प्रोडक्ट तो जब मैं इसका nth derivative ढूंढूंगी, I have to apply Leibniz rule. So I will first define what is my u, what is my v, and then I will write the Leibniz rule. This part is for your understanding. You can skip that. After writing this, you can directly write down this two step. Okay? Now, क्या किया है? I have in this formula, I have written x u equal to sine three x and v equal to x and I have applied the formula over here. Now, nc0 will be 1 un. What is u I am taking? This. What is my un value? This. So, I have substituted that value and what is my v? v is my x. Right? So, I am getting this term as my first term. Okay? Now, second one is nc1. What is value of nc1? N. N. Okay, so that N is there. Iska N minus 1 derivative. Kaise milega? Is formula me substitute N by N minus 1. So I am getting 3 raised to N minus 1 sine of 3x plus N minus 1 into pi by 2 into V1. What is V1 represent? First derivative of your function V. What is V? x. So, what is its first derivative? 1. So, that is why this term 1 is coming. This is clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what is the next step? Next step will be nc2, un minus 2, and v2. Okay. So, nc2 ki value hogi n, n minus 1 by 2 factorial. 
u n minus two, you will substitute n by n minus two in this formula. So that value you are getting. But when you are finding v two, since v one is one, v two will be zero. राइट आपका फर्स्ट डेरिवेटिव कांस्टेंट आ रहा है तो उसके बाद के जितने भी डेरिवेटिव है v2 v3 v4 v5 अप टू vn ऑल सेकंड थर्ड फोर्थ डेरिवेटिव ऑनवर्स विल बी जीरो यस मैम राइट सो व्हाट विल हैपन दिस n टर्म इज रिड्यूस इनटू ओनली दिस फर्स्ट टर्म प्लस सेकंड टर्म एंड द रेस्ट ऑल द टर्म्स विल बी Zero. So that is why you are only getting this two term over here. I hope this step is clear to all. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now take out the lowest power of three common and simplify your answer. This is your final answer. Whether question is asked for four mark, six mark, eight mark. You only have to identify U and V if and you are applying Leibniz. write the leibniz rule and after this directly write this step and simplify your answer am i clear yes ma'am okay try this one then yes ma'am yes ma'am so this will be your answer all of you are getting this all of you are getting yes ma'am okay yes ma'am think about it and try what you can do for this
Now, which function you will take as u and v? पहले तो कौन से फंक्शन का एंड डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है लॉक का नहीं है एंड डेरिवेटिव एग्जिस्ट है बट वो फिर से रिपीट होगा वन अपॉन एक्स माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर है लॉक का हमने ढूंढा ना बेटा लॉक का एंड डेरिवेटिव का एक फॉर्म है ना यस दिस वन राइट सो दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल विच इज रिटर्न इन द प्रोडक्ट सो यू कैन अप्लाई द लेपनिस रूल बट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल बोथ द फंक्शन आर सच दैट यू कैन हैव एंथ डेरिवेटिव एक्सिस्ट फॉर लॉग एक्स एज वेल एज वन अपॉन एक्स सो हियर यू कैन टेक एनी ऑफ द फंक्शन एज यू एंड एनी ऑन अर सेकेंड फंक्शन एज वी and write down is n derivative and substitute this value in your formula so this is clear dono ab tak ye jo example tha wahan pe kya tha ek function aisa tha jiska n derivative exist tha dusre ka second ya third derivative tak exist tha ya ek derivative exist tha but n derivative zero ho raha tha This is the example where you can take log x or you can take one upon x. Both of the function are such that jin ke nth derivative exist hai. Correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So now when you apply Leibniz rule over here, आप वो दोनों पे apply करोगे, right? So if you see the step, यहाँ पे मैंने u लिया है one upon x. और v लिया है log x and this is my Leibniz rule I am or Leibniz theorem statement I am applying so n c zero is one u I have taken one upon x जिसका nth derivative value value है ये so I am substituting that value into क्या है v what is v v I am taking as log x so it is I am it is giving me my first term plus Second term is n c one value is n u of n minus one. How will it get? How you will find out this derivative? N k square n minus one. So you already have u n. In that u n, just replace n by n minus one. So you will get this term. Into v1. What is v1? First derivative of your function v, which is log x. Log x का first derivative क्या होगा? One upon x. Clear? First and second term कैसे आई? Is it clear to all? Is it clear to all? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what will be the next term? N C two, U N minus two into V two, right? N C two की value है N N minus one by two factorial. U N minus two की value क्या आएगी? ये आपका U N है. उसमें replace N by N minus two. So you will get this term. Or V का second derivative is your V two means इसका next derivative will be your V two. So it will be minus one upon X square. This is clear. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and you keep on doing it up to your n term because here there is such a function that its nth derivative also exists for v also. So nth term will be n c n u into v n. So n c n value is one. What is u? U is one upon x. And what is v n? nth derivative of this log function so it is given by this form so i hope this is clear completely jahan pe mera cursor hai this part is clear everyone yes 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 ma'am okay now as you can see yahan pe minus 1 into n factorial hai 
यहाँ पे माइनस वन इंटू एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल है यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट इट एज माइनस वन इंटू एन इंटू माइनस वन इंटू माइनस वन ऑल्सो एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल यू कैन ऑलवेज राइट एज एन माइनस वन इंटू एन फैक्टोरियल एन माइनस टू यू कैन राइट एज एन माइनस टू इंटू एन माइनस वन इंटू एन फैक्टोरियल मीन फॉर ईच टर्म यू कैन टेक आउट माइनस वन रेस टू एन एन फैक्टोरियल अपॉन एक्स रेस टू एन प्लस वन टर्म कॉमन यहाँ पे भी आपको मिलेगा एन प्लस वन यहाँ पे भी एन प्लस वन मिलेगा सो यू कैन टेक आउट दिस कॉमन फ्रॉम ईच टर्म यू आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम दी अबो अबो फॉर्म दिस इज क्लियर so when you take out the common this is the bracket value you are getting and if you can see this is something similar to the result you want to prove the only difference is the term you are getting is for n and the result you are getting is for 5 so simply take n equal to 5 in this expression and you will get this result <coughs> sorry clear to all ये दो स्टेप में कहीं पे कुछ डाउट है इज इट क्लियर एवरी वन इज इट क्लियर यस मैम यस मैम ओके तो दिस इज द सेकंड टाइप ऑफ एग्जांपल बेस्ड ऑन लेपनिस थियरम फर्स्ट where we have seen a function which is a product of two function in which one of the function will have nth derivative so that function we will take as u and the another function we will take as v and apply leibniz theorem this is the one example which is also a given function is a product of two function and here both of them will have the nth derivative axis so you can take either of the function as your u second function is b apply the result and prove the required result and then come this third type of question so this we will discuss tomorrow you can write down question or you can write it tomorrow so up to this clear to all yes ma'am yes okay